Welcome to It Happened in Grand Prairie, Texas. As we bring you the history of our wonderful city and some of the people that have made that history and some that are so busy, they're making history this very day. And we're just so pleased to have a real special celebration that is designed to happen. And we're just uh, hoping that it will happen and we have the girl that will make things happen for the Cinco de Mayo, if it ever will. And we're just so pleased to bring you, first of all, Gloria Carrillo. Gloria, Miss How Gloria, are you? Your How are Majesty. You? <laughs> How we're, are you? We're just so glad to have you with us today. Thank you so much for inviting us to be here with you yes. today. And Jose Picard, it is wonderful to have you, and you're far away, but I'm going to take a chance on mm -hmm. that. Thank you for Thank being you. here today. It's a pleasure Rooms to be here. to go. Honcho, That's that right. is really great. We're so pleased to have you with us because you're one of the outstanding sponsors for always for uh, Cinco de Mayo and you, w you, we couldn't celebrate without you. That's right. <laughs> and we know we couldn't celebrate without Glory. Oh no, she's oh, got to be there. Right. <laughs> What's happening? Well, we, we had an absolutely marvelous event. This is our 22nd year that yes, we're going to be doing. Yes, 22nd year. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we, uh, had an absolutely marvelous program all set up, and unfortunately, we have uh, a situation that has occurred that will hinder our plans for this May. But we are in the process, we will postpone it, and we will celebrate Cinco de Mayo on September the 12th, which will be Hispanic Heritage Month. That's where I wanted it all of these years. And it, it, it took the good Lord's movement of uh, causing things to happen in the United States and all over the world mm -hmm. that made me move it to September. And isn't that wonderful? It really is. It that's, really is. It's, that's it's, your Independence Day. That's like yes. the 4th of July for the United States. It is uh, Mexico's Independence Day. Yes, yes it yes. is. Yes, it is. And so it, it's exciting. I mean, you, you know, I, for those of you that don't know, um, Cinco de Mayo happened because of bad weather. Yes. Uh, Mayor Debo and uh, Gus Porras and Basamo Day from Jack in the Box had planned a huge celebration. Yes. This was over 22 years ago, 23 years ago. Uh, their celebration was in February. The day that they planned the celebration, it started snowing and sleeting sideways. So they had to ha cancel their event. Yes. And uh, when that happened, uh, the mayor kind of stepped in and talked to them and, and they got together with some of the members of the community and we decided we'll change your festival and we'll make it for Cinco de Mayo. So all these years it's been Cinco de Mayo. Yes. The first Saturday of May for 22 years. Yes. And uh, this year we just found out late, late yesterday that the school district, because of the pandemic, has pulled the school's participation. Yes. The city and the sponsors have all stepped up to the plate and we're ready to go and we'll be doing this September the 12th. That is wonderful. Yes, yes. We're, we're excited that we were able to salvage it and we're excited that our sponsors stay with us and, and continue to support this event because it's so important. We, as a result of this event, have given out over $200,000 in scholarships. Yes. This year, we have 11 young people that will be receiving scholarships from Cinco de Mayo Committee. So without the help of the sponsors, it wouldn't happen. Are you having your art contest? The art contest. Is that on hold? It is not. The art contest, if you will look on gpisd.org and go to Cinco de Mayo. Yes. Uh, click on that and you will be able to see the people that won the, the art. We, we're still going to award the scholarships to the art co contest winners. And the art wa work is incredible, really oh, incredible. I know that it must be. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously our, our books and, and Jose Picard has, uh, the, the books are absolutely beautiful. Oh. They're going to be ready today. And what we've, we're going to do is distribute them in September with an insert with a new program, obviously. Oh, that will be yeah. wonderful. That way we're trying to, to salvage some of that. Our, our t-shirts are ready for our sponsors also. We have beautiful, beautiful t-shirt with, uh, you know, 
our logo for this year. I want year. you to hold that down in your lap, and I want you to name every one of those sponsors on the back that you have there. That is a marvel, marvelous group of sponsors. <laughs> we have That's a right. tremendous group of sponsors. Oh, you do? We do. We have Could you name all of those since we have time and we're not going to <laughs> beat the drum as much for the uh, event, for the event yes. uh, especially for Cinco de Mayo? Yes. Uh, obviously, number one sponsor is the city of Grand Prairie. Oh, yes. Without the city, couldn't happen. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Grand Prairie Independent School District. ASA, Hispanic Association for Culture and, and Education. Uh, they're the sponsoring the, five, the 5013 c organization that puts this event on. Jack in the Box, Panchos, Cadobas, uh, Telefutura 49, uh, Univision, Channel yeah. 23, Rooms to go. And we're going to let him talk in a minute. Yes. So we'll uh -huh. just say his name now, but we're going to let him uh, tell about their involvement. Rooms to go. Uh, Wells Fargo, Texas Trust and Credit Union, All Smiles Dental, Domingo Garcia, attorney. And we had a brand new sponsor that had given us a cruise on uh, Holland America. Yes. A uh, four day cruise, uh, Dream Vacations and Travel. They're yes. brand new sponsors that so we're excited about having them. Yes. Mm hmm. And that's so. going to be exciting. With all of those sponsors, we've got to have something in September. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, we've contacted them, and all of them are so understanding. They know what's going on nationwide, worldwide, and all of them said, that we're going to be with you in September. Oh, that is and So great. we appreciate it because this allows us to, to go ahead and award our scholarships to our recipients and to give our the kids that won the art contest. And the, this... This was to be May the 2nd, right? That is correct. May 2, uh, yes, 2009. Yes. And it's, it has just been postponed. It is a postponement. That's a parliamentary thing that we can <laughs> postpone something till the next time. Yes. And so we're legal to do that, aren't we? Yes, <laughs> and we are. We are. We are not. Uh, we are postponing because of everything that's happening throughout yes. the the world yes, right now. That's wonderful. Yes. Oh, well, may I uh, interview uh, Jose then a absolutely, little bit? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is great. Mr. Picard, uh, it's wonderful to have you here and have the support and have this girl smiling oh, like yeah. this because she knows that she has a key sponsor that is really in favor of everything we're doing with the postponement uh, into September. And uh, tell me a little bit about your company and what, what you all, what brought you to do this to be a sponsor for Cinco de Mayo? Well, first off, Ruthie, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Always have been. You know, we've been here with you for several years yes. now. Uh, our company has been involved with the Cinco de Mayo events now for over 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've uh, actually uh, decided to participate because we are a family-oriented company. Uh, we're very conscious of, on, on our students, and we want to make sure that they succeed in life. Yes. And that uh, we really want to be part of that. So when the opportunity presented it to, you know, to be a, a sponsor for this event, we couldn't, ha you, we, did it, we didn't hesitate. We jump on it, and we want to be part of this forever, if we can. Excellent. Of course. So I want to say that uh, my hat's off is uh, to the committee. I mean, yes. they, they've been doing an outstanding job throughout the entire year. And... Uh, it is unfortunate this event is being postponed. Uh, we're really heartbroken. I know Gloria feels the same mm -hmm. way uh, because we were so excited and we're ready. But you know what? September comes, we're going to have an even better event. I'm, I'm, I'm very certain that we're going to have a real nice event September 12th comes. We may even have fireworks then because of Independence Day. We may have something so spectacular that we'll, we'll just have to really live it up right. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, I'd like to personally thank you uh, and take back to all of the uh, powers that be at Rooms to Go thank and you. tell them how very, very much we appreciate everything that they have done in the past, but especially for going the extra mile to be with us in September. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That is really wonderful. Yes, ma'am. It's an honor. Yes. Thank you because th the parade is always really fun for s some of we politicians that like to get in the parade. And Miss Gloria, I'd like for you to take back a special message to your darling husband. He has been the chair of that parade for all 22 years. That's right. 22 mm -hmm. years. Yes. He's been called to duty and he makes everyone feel so welcome and gets them what they think is the best spot <laughs> in the parade. Whether you're at the front or the back, he uh -huh. makes you feel like you're really special uh -huh. for being there. And, uh, well, you know, the, the parade is always such a, 
absolutely wonderful event. Um, Liz Martin and Susanna Ramirez and Sylvia Baca with the school district, they have been such a, an integral part of yes, the committee. They yes, they have. They've, I mean, our committee starts working since January, and yeah. we meet up until the end of June to get everything finished up for the year. But uh, uh, up to up through yesterday, we had something like over 1,500 people that were going to participate in the parade. 1,500. Yes, we had both of the bands. We had drill teams. We had cheerleaders. We had Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, uh, uh, companies. Um. Tell us about the important people that you have on the dais when we meet at City Hall. You have ambassadors. You, you have beautiful ladies that can sing the national anthem. Where do you get all your clues for that? Gloria? We we have so much talent in our community. Yes, you do. We have. We have tremendous, Sandra Salazar, who is uh, Liz Martin's secretary, her daughter was to sing the national anthem this yes. year. And she'll be a senior, so uh, we'll have to bring her back from college yes, to do the, national, do the national anthem in September. But we've got some really wonderful people. We've got Basam O'Day, we've got Lydia Redondo, Lily Lopez, all of these great folks from uh, Jack in the Box. We had a a huge VIP reception planned. In fact, I had sent everybody yes. tickets and, and letters and everything else. And uh, so we have so many people, Geraldo Contreras uh, with Lockheed Martin. We had a huge volunteer group this year, 40 people from Lockheed Martin that were going to help us in the parade, mm -hmm. that were gonna help us with rooms to go. I mean, we just had, uh, to put on an event like this, the numbers are just staggering. You know, Doug Beak with the city of Grand Prairie that is have with you Parks already and printed, Recreation. Have you already printed your program? Oh, yes. That, uh, our program is, it's printed, is ready. It's printed for May the 2nd. That is correct. Our program is And all of the ads, printed. will they be in the September Well, let me tell presentation, you. Uh, or are we going to do this one? Well, this is what we're going to do, and uh, this is our book. Obviously, we, we've had a lot of, a tremendous amount of expenses yes. that we can't take back. That's uh, right. You know, we can't take back the, the printing of the books or the t-shirts, and so what we met this morning, the city manager of Grand Prairie met with us and all of our sponsors, and what, what we're going to do is we will use the same program. Good. We will have an insert. Good. That, that, that will have, tell everything. That will tell everything, yes. And uh, I think that with the, the help and input of all of the sponsors, we decided that's what we're going to do in order to... Uh, to preserve our financial situation. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that's what we're going to do. That's wonderful. Yes. Well, so. I'm, I'm so pleased to have had you all here. Now, what I want to do, I want you to look out mm -hmm. into your camera that says guest. Yes, ma'am. And then I, wa I want you to put on that real Gloria Carrillo spirit Mm -hmm. And I want you to congratulate everyone. I want you, first of all, to thank Mayor DeBow for pulling Absolutely. this together. And then thank Mayor England for continuing that all, all the, these many years. Mm -hmm. And I want you to do a thank you for me particularly, not to thank me, but to thank them for mm -hmm. me for, because they pulled us all together. Absolutely. Absolutely. As I said earlier, this event could not happen without the input and the the... Un the unwavering support of people like Mayor Debo that connected our group, yes. that that uh, made the suggestions that we involve the school district, and uh, the the involvement of the school district has been an, an integral part of the success of this event. Yeah. Uh, Mayor England also has been a source of support. Tom Hart, yes. the city manager. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, he has been absolutely wonderful throughout this. Mm -hmm. And uh, so without, without them and without the help, this Cinco de Mayo committee, we've had the same committee for 22 years. Mm -hmm. And they're as committed and enthusiastic every single year. They don't tire. It's, it's, uh, it's a labor of love for everybody involved. And your uh, parks department? Oh, without Doug Beak. Oh. Right. Doug I thought, Beak. was hoping you would name oh, Doug. You know, no. Doug has been, has been there so supportive and, and every year he's there at the crack of dawn and every year he's still there with us on Sunday helping us clean up the parade site after the event. So yeah. without, it, without these people, there's no way that we could have the success. You know, we have the success that we've had because of the support of everyone involved. There's no way you could ever pick 
the one person that had meant the most to this. It just has to be a combination of Absolutely. all of those wonderful people that you've mentioned, right? Absolutely. You, uh, without the, the school district input, I mean, Susanna Ramirez and Liz Martin, they put together the, the program. The, they received the faxes on the parade entries. Uh, uh, we have a committee that does the sells the ads and we for thought the you book. Did, we thought you did all of that, Gloria. You did because you were the stem winder behind all of it. Uh -huh. They would not have done that if you had not been a worthy person to lead this group. Well, and I would like to personally thank you because you have been the one that has had the most moxie as far as we're concerned publicly. Everyone in town knows that if you want to get anything done with the Hispanic community's blessing, then get Gloria Carrillo, and then it'll go. Well, I thank you so much for your kind words. I really mm -hmm. do, and, and I thank the city of Grand Prairie for their support. I mean, every year we see the people lined up, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, waiting for this parade to come by. Uh, we've got people saying, how can you cancel? You can't. Yes. Uh, the, the, so uh, we, the community of Grand Prairie has been incredible in their support of this event, and and we look for you to come out on September the 12th. It's going to be a bigger, it's going to be a better event. It's going to be wonderful. So we want all of you to please support us in this postponement and understand that it, it was postponed due to safety issues. We don't want to have an event where our community will be harmed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, please come out on September the 12th. Hopefully by then everything will be uh, settle down and everything will be better for our whole nation. For this television show, for Amy Sprinkles and Don Johnson, they have given you over the years a track record that is in videotape history and it's wonderful and I'd like for you to thank those two people. Absolutely. Ms. Amy Sprinkles has always been so supportive. I just call her and say, Amy, I need this. Can you help me with this? Mr. Johnson, I mean, he does an outstanding job producing these shows yes, so that our community knows what's happening in Grand Prairie. Exactly. And for you, Miss Ruthie, that you've always been here to, you knew that. To, to let us know everything that's going on in our community. We appreciate you. All right. Now, Jose, you've heard her thank all of these people. You are a special sponsor, but you know we have other sponsors. I'd like for you to look out into your camera and thank all of the sponsors individually or ever how you want to do it. I'd like for you to say a, some praise for them for sticking with us and especially sticking with us through September. That's right, Ruthie. I really want to thank all of the sponsors, of course, Rooms to Go included. It actually shows a lot of team effort uh, when we put together a, a special event like this. And I also want to encourage every small and big business out there to uh, be part of this, get involved, because what we're doing is actually for our children. Uh, that they are the future, and uh, to me, that's one of the better investments that we can ever make. I want to really thank all the sponsors, and again, I encourage them uh, to continue supporting this event, not only in September the 12th, but in many, many years to come. That's wonderful. See, he gave us a future past September the 12th. That is great, right. isn't it? Absolutely. Anything else you would like to say before we close out this segment? Just uh, thank you so much to Tom Hart and Amy Sprinkles and, and the mayor and Dr. Simpson and everybody involved with the school district that has uh, notified us of what's happening and has worked with us to salvage our event yes. and uh, is going to work with us to make September the 12th one of the biggest and best events in our community of Grand Prairie. And I want to thank you all very much for taking time today. Thank you. It's, it's been a real blessing to have you all with us. And this is Ruthie Jackson reminding you that history is, as we live and do, even with the changes that we're undergoing, mm -hmm.